you, you bastard! Well, here he is. The evil monkey! Do you believe me now? Holy crap! It is real! Oh my god! I thought I was the only one! Meg, we're, do we're doing... We're doing Chris's monkey. Oh my god, Chris was right! Holy crap, Chris, is that thing dangerous? Yes, he's evil! I'm not really evil. <gasps> it talks! I if someone will please untie me, I'll explain everything. No, Dad, don't do it! He's evil! Look, just trust me, this is all a huge misunderstanding. Chris, I think we should give him a chance to explain himself. No! Oh, thank you very much. Now, I know this looks bad, me living in your son's closet and all, but it's a very complex situation. You see, basically, I got home from work one day and found my wife cheating on me with another monkey. Oh, that's terrible. I fell into a deep depression after the divorce, which ended up costing me my job. All my money was gone, which means I lost the house. So I moved into Chris's closet just until I got back on my feet again. Wound up living in there for nine years. Oh, my God, you've missed so much. Like when America was attacked by mentally challenged suicide bombers. Allahu Akbar! You know something? You're not evil at all, are you? No, he's not. He's just a poor fellow who's down on his luck. Easy for you to say. He doesn't hide in your closet making a scary face. That's just the face I make when I'm thinking. And you're always pointing at me. I was trying to start a conversation. And you do that weird trembling thing. I have a copper deficiency. Look, Chris, I'm sorry if I scared you before, but this is a great chance for us to start over. No, it isn't. You can fool everyone else, but you can't fool me. You go to hell.